Okay, just checking in with the live. I believe we are live. Just going to double check we're live and then we'll begin officially. It says we're live. Just going to double check in the group. I'm going to interact with people in the group as well. Just make sure we are live in the group. Here we go. We're live. Okay, so welcome guys to how to use the power of NLP to increase your sales, influence, and results with your clients, for coaches, consultants, and agency owners. If you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, you work with clients in the service industry, how does it like to be able to better increase your conversion rates, better be able to lead them to action, and better be able to get your clients' results? Would you guys like that? Bless your hands. Yes. Uh, by the way, if you're joining in the Zoom, feel free to comment and say hi in the Zoom. If you're watching on the Facebook, feel free to comment live or replay and interact on there. We are live streaming here as well. I'm excited to introduce a very special guest presenter um, who will be I'll be introducing now and bringing on board. And uh, for me personally, I came across neuro linguistic programming way back in 2004, and I did practitioner four times, master practice twice, and trainers training. And by 2006, I was one of the first qualified international trainers of neuro-linguistic programming in Australia. In fact, I was one of the first 12 trainers in Australia ever, period. Um, and then I was delivering practitioner and master practitioner courses of neuro-linguistic programming before social media even existed. So we're going back a while as well. And I have 21 certifications in different psychological modalities, and no individual modality has more of a, has had more of a profound effect on my personal healing journey, on my transformation, on my understanding of myself, but also giving clients results in NLP. So NLP has been the most powerful modality that I've personally learned uh, as an epistemology, if you will. And you can utilize it to increase sales, your ability to get clients results, to understand your own mindset. You can use it for healing and childhood trauma. It goes hand in hand with a therapy called timeline therapy, which you can also use um, for healing childhood trauma and other traumas as well. And it's just a really powerful modality for understanding the power of the mind. But I'm not here to sell you NLP. I'm not, I'm not here to, uh, I'm just here to introduce you to our very special guest um, who's going to be sharing with you what is NLP, how does it work, and how you can utilize it in your life, your business, and with clients to increase your sales, have more influence, and get greater results. Would you guys like that? Uh, Tracy, forgive me if I don't look bright-eyed. Yes, welcome, everybody. Cool. Uh, I do have the Facebook Live. I'll be interacting with people on the live as well. Uh, Julie, if we can just put the PowerPoint back on, please, and keep the PowerPoint on, please. Thank you. Um, yes. So we have a, a very a very special uh, guest presenter today. Some of you already know her. Um, we first met, I think, eight or nine years ago. And when we connected online, she was running a fitness business, a boot camp business. And then we were specializing in business coaching for fitness pools. And um, came to me and, and I was Julie's coach, business coach, helped her build a six-figure fitness business. And then she wanted to pivot online and I helped her pivot online and build a six-figure online fitness business. Uh, and then um, Julie went down the journey of becoming qualified as, as a practitioner uh, and then a master practitioner and then a trainer of neuro-linguistic programming, which we're going to talk about today. Uh, then for a bit, Julie actually worked as a life coach uh, with me personally. And in fact, not only has Julie worked as a qualified fitness coach, a qualified life coach, but also is one of our personal quantum international business coaches, working with coaches, consultants, and agency owners all across the globe to help them build to 20,000 plus months. So Julie has a background in fitness, co fitness coaching, life coaching, and business coaching, and an NLP trainer, and a therapist, and a healer. Also, Julie and I, uh, Julie's like a sister to me. We've done a whole heap of stuff together. We even jumped out of a plane together. Um, she legit is like a sister to me. She's a heart-centered leader, just a beautiful soul, loves helping people, generally cares, but is also bloody about to drop an F-bomb. Also very bloody good at what she does. And Julie is here today to share with you a bit more about what NLP is. Now, some of you may have never heard of NLP. Some of you might have a basic understanding. Maybe you're a practitioner, practitioner or master practitioner. No matter where you're at on your journey or understanding of NLP, there's always something more to learn and more for us to grow. And um, again, Julie is probably the only person on this call that is an actual trainer that can deliver certifications in coaching NLP and also timeline therapy. So without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to our very special guest, blessed and honored to have her with uh, you today. And I, and I encourage you to take lots of notes, listening closely. Uh, we are live streaming this. If you're watching the Zoom, it will be, you know, email to you and all that cool stuff as well. But without further ado, Julie, Julie Thompson in the house. Are you there, Julie? My sister from another mister. I am here. Thank you so much for the beautiful introduction. And it has been an absolute pleasure to be part of the community for such a long time. Um, and that's one thing that I'm going to share with each of you today about um, building lifelong relationships. 
Um, so NLP, and I would love to know if you are, thank you for everyone that's um, joining us live this morning, by the way. And if you are on, a, on the live with us, uh, whether you're on the Facebook live or in the on the actual Zoom with us, um, I would love to know if you have learned NLP before and or how much you know. So if you are a practitioner or a master practitioner, um, simply comment in the box below or if you've had a personal experience, um, I'd love to know sort of where you're at on that on that journey as well. Um, and hopefully we can you know, answer any questions and things like that. So basically my um, what Jason was sharing is that my background was in health and fitness. And from there, I, I recognized that my clients needed some extra tools and techniques. And then I literally stumbled across NLP uh, quite some time ago and was able to weave it into my coaching practice and just had absolutely phenomenal transformations with my clients. So I did about 80 personal breakthroughs uh, within the first two years of becoming a certified coach and practitioner. And the transformations were absolutely phenomenal, so much so to the point I just became obsessed with learning more about these, these tools and techniques. And not only that, but I became passionate about helping other people learn these tools and techniques, because once you understand what NLP really can do for you, um, you know, I just, I, I became obsessed to, to deliver it to other people. So more people can know this stuff. So it can help you in your personal life, your professional life in business. It can help you have uh, phenomenal transformations with your clients as well. So today the focus really is on haven't done any NLP. Great. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully uh, teach you just a little bit from from the bare basics. So basically, today's all about increasing influence, boosting sales, and really building stronger relationships with your clients and getting better results. And one of the most effective tools that we utilize in NLP is truly understanding your clients. So it was interesting. I did a post yesterday and asking our community what they thought the most unique tool was in coaching or what's the most powerful tool in coaching. And a lot of them were talking about uh, active listening. They'll talk about communication. They'll talk about being organized. And one of the things is getting to know your clients. So the better you know somebody the more impact that you can have in that person's in that person's life and the more influence you will have with that person and so it's really about understanding your client's values and if you are a business owner and you can understand what is most important to your client and you can align your business with them and align to your client's highest values, that's going to help you create trust, belief, loyalty and also get better outcomes for your clients as well. So it's a really about building that strong rapport, building the communication, building the relationship and really understanding their values. And I'll touch on that uh, in a little while. And I'm also going to share with you how you can learn to use effective communication. So one thing that we teach in NLP, um, NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming and the linguistic portion of it is all about language. And it comes in, in sort of two parts. So there's the language of the mind and how we are operating unconsciously, but it's also the language that we use. And one of the most powerful techniques that we, that we learn in NLP is understanding how to pick up on clients' language patterns which will help you understand how the client is actually thinking and then how you can respond effectively with communication. Does that make sense? So that's going to help you build stronger rapport, build a better relationship and actually learn how to speak your client's language. And I'll share some tools on that with you shortly. The other thing uh, that we can use NLP for is to improve our marketing. So when you can deliver your marketing to speak different languages and deliver it in, in different content format, that's going to help boost your influence because you're just going to naturally uh, be more, uh, you're naturally going to impact more of your audience. You're going to speak to a larger audience. What we tend to do as individuals is we tend to speak in our own language, right? And I'm somebody who's highly visual. So I used to speak in a very visual format and I'm going to, I'm going to break that down for you. Uh, but what I realized, and once I learned NLP, is I was actually not speaking to a large portion of my audience just because my own natural language style. So I'm going to help you guys to uh, improve your marketing tactics by understanding language on a different level. And I'm also going to share with you a powerful tip on how you can increase your sales. So this one tip that I'll share with you helped me boost my conversion rates to 90%, which was amazing. And I'm also going to give you a few extra tips on how you can become a better leader and um, also, uh, for those of you who have team, I'm going to teach you how you can utilize NLP to build a stronger team as well. So values alignment is one of the most important things. So we talk about, um, you know, your clients want to know three things from you. They want to know is, can they trust you? Do you actually care? 
And can you help them solve their problem or help them get what they want? And so when we talk about um, the, you know, the trust, when you understand your client's values, what's most important to them, what are their top three values? If you can create leverage, so if you can um, align your product or service to meet that client's highest values, you're utilizing leverage. Does that make sense? So we are driven emotionally when we make decisions to, to invest in something, whether it's our time or our energy or our money. We, we make those decisions from a very unconscious place and they are based on our highest values. And so for some people, if their highest values, let's just say their highest values might be love and relationships, family and health and wellness. And then if you're a business coach and you're trying to help your client um, commit to a 40-hour work week, if something in their top three values um, happens in their life, let's just say their child gets sick or their wife gets sick, they are going to attend to those things first before they will do their business activities because it's just what's what's more important to them at the unconscious level. Does that make sense? So our values are not necessarily things we like. They're more so things that are important to us and they are what drive our decision-making at the unconscious level. So if you can identify your client's highest values and find out what's actually important to them, and then you can create leverage where you're utilizing their highest values and what it can do for them. So whatever your product or service is, is going to help them achieve in those personal areas, uh, you're more likely to create that leverage. And when we're talking about the care factor, so to build the trust, the care, and understand where we can help solve their problems, if you operate from a place of ecology, and this is one thing we teach in NLP, ecology is creating a win-win for your clients. So if you operate from ecology all the time, it's a win for you, it's a win for your clients, and it's a win for the greater good as well. So as long as you're operating from that place of ecology, you're going to create that trust with your clients. And the other thing is, is do you uh, can you help them solve their problem? So the thing that they really want to know is can you either solve their problem or help them get what they want? And that's a meta program in NLP where it's a towards or away from motivation. So your clients are going to be either driven away from something that they don't want, that's a problem in their life, or towards pleasure. And so by understanding that and understanding your clients on a deeper level, are they being motivated from a towards or away from motivation? And can you help them solve their problem? Here's an interesting one for you. So this is where we really are able to learn about effective communication. So uh, the way that we communicate, uh, everybody on the planet speaks very different language, right? And we, we take information through our five senses. And so some of us are very highly visual. I'm, I'm a very highly visual person. Some of our clients are auditory. Some of them are quite kinesthetic. And kinesthetic is when they are feelings-based. So they are going to be driven to make decisions on how they feel about something. They might get a gut feeling or they might just pick up on your energy and decide whether they like you or whether they don't like you. The auditory people are going to pick up on your key words. So they're going to be listening for language that you're utilizing where you're talking about what you can do for them or your product or service that you're sharing with them. So auditory people are really going to be listening in for keywords that you say. Um, they might be they might be um, distracted by noises or loud noises. They're also going to be people that are going to tune in and listen to you and they're going to remember things that you say. So if you have a client who's quite auditory, they will probably want to jump on the, on the phone and have a phone call with you or they might want to listen to testimonials and hear what other people are saying about you and they want to pick up on keywords. Visual learners like me, we want to see something. So if you were trying to sell me your product or service, I'm very visual, so I want to see it. I want you to show it to me. So that's why uh, if you're in our business coaching program, we help you create visual aids for your, for your clients. So if you've got a website, if you've got some visual aids, if you've got some information that you can send to them, they actually want to see it um, because you could be talking about it and, and telling them all the great information, but if they can't see it, then their, their, their unconscious mind can't take in all the information correctly. So that's how you can become more effective in the way that you communicate with your audience. Now you've got clients which are called auditory digital. So auditory digital clients, they are people who are very information-based. They're people who like to consider things. They want to understand it. They want to learn more about it. They want to do some uh, research. They'll probably want to know some statistics. And so... For those people, that's where it's good if you've got information that you can share with them. Now, for um, here's, a, here's a little tip for you. Visual people are usually working high chunk. 
and they they like fast information and they might not be interested in all of the the detailed information statistics does that make sense so the way that you're communicating with that person because i'm somebody who's highly visual if you were telling me all the statistics about your product and service i might lose interest and that's just because that's how my unconscious mind works is because i'm not so much more interested in the information i'm more interested in how your program looks and what I might be able to visualize that your program or service could do for me. Does that make sense? So that's how you can really effectively communicate is by understanding your audience. And the, the words that I've written under here, these are keywords that can help you pick up on your client's particular learning style. So somebody who's visual, they're going to use words such as, can I take a look at it? Or can you show me something? Or I can see what you mean. And so they'll actually be utilizing keywords that represent their visual rep systems. Auditory people will, will actually probably even turn to the side and listen as you're speaking to them. Or they might say, can we jump on a phone call? Um, can you tell me more? You know, so they will actually be, I would like to speak to somebody. So you know that they're auditory. Kinesthetic people will use words that let you know that they are dropping into their feelings. They'll say, well, that feels good, or I'm not getting a great feeling about this, or I'm not, I can't quite get a grip on it, or I can't grasp what you're, you're sharing with me. So that's why you can utilize these language patterns. If you can pick up that a client is kinesthetic, you can say, how do you feel about that? And that means that you're going to be communicating effectively with that person. They will feel that you understand them a lot better and you'll build that rapport. Your auditory digital people, you can use keywords, information-based keywords. So you can say, uh, would you like to take a look at it? How about, what do you, you know, go away, have a consideration of it. Do you need to do any more research? What else can I show you? Do you understand it? So you can utilize those keywords as well. Is that helpful, by the way, to help you more effectively communicate with your people? Perfect. Good stuff. All right. So just for your own level of awareness, your audience, this is a way that you can improve your marketing. So 43% of your audience are highly visual. 43%. So if you've got visual aids, if you've got your websites available, um, if you've got photos, videos, a program overview, in-action photos, uh, your visual audience are going to be drawn to that sort of stuff. So you can improve your marketing by sharing more visual content. And interestingly enough, I did a split test the other day on my social platforms. So I actually, I posted the exact same offer. One was in written format and one was in picture format. And I got 60% more interest off the picture. Isn't that fascinating? So that just goes to show that my audience is more visual um, and I got a lot better response when there was an image associated to, to the offer. 30% of people around the world are auditory. So that's why testimonials are really good. If you've got um, a product or a service, if you've got access to testimonials, auditory people want to know what other people are saying about your product because they are, that's how they learn. They, they really want to pick up um, on the keywords that other people are utilizing. 5% of your audience will be kinesthetic. So they're the people that are really drop in. They are the people that you want to build stronger relationships with. So they are more going to make a decision based on trust and how they feel about you. Um, so you really want to be able to create connection with those people, build that, re build that relationship. Um, and interestingly enough, um, even though it's only 5% of the population, we cannot discount them. And let me tell you why is I had a client uh, about three years ago that I was working with. She was highly kinesthetic. And it was all about building that strong connection in the relationship. But the lifetime value of that client, I served her so well. She had such a great experience that she then uh, she then referred her sister, her sister-in-law, her father, and about four other people to me. So the lifetime value of that client became super, um, super valuable to our business. And that was just because she had a great experience and she felt supported. She felt she felt connected. Um, and 22% of the audience is usually AD. So they're the people who want the facts, the figures, the data. They want to do some research. And the AD people will probably, they might want three or four phone calls with you or your team. They're really going to do their research and check you out. So it's important to have that information available. Does that help? Is that Was that quite helpful? Yeah, good. I'm glad you guys are getting a little bit of value out of this. So here's where I want to share with you a tip that has helped me increase my conversion rates to 90%. Who would like to close more sales, by the way? Yes, <laughs> we all want to close more sales, get more clients. So this is a tool that we use in NLP. It's called the five-step sales process, and it works really well. 
And the first thing is about building rapport. So the, as we know, it's about like, trust, and no like, trust factor. So your clients have to trust you. And so you want to spend time building rapport, building the relationship, getting to know them, understanding what's important to them, building, really building that rapport, building that relationship with the person. Uh, that's a really important way that you can increase sales because they're going to feel seen. Uh, they are going to feel like they are seen and they're heard and they're understood. And the second part is asking great questions. Now, the purpose of asking the questions is to really establish your client's needs. So the better you are at asking questions, and this is something that we really capitalize on in NLP, is we teach you how to ask amazing questions, right? Um, if you've ever been through one of, uh, the, one of the QBC coaching programs, you'll probably have been asked a lot of questions in the onboarding process. And the idea behind that is we really want to know what is it that's driving you? What is it that, what's your pain points? What are your challenges? What is it that you want? What is it that you're moving away from? And so the idea of asking lots of questions is to really identify how does the client need you or how can your product or service really help that client? Does that make sense? So that's the purpose of asking questions. Um, you know, you don't want to say, oh, what are you having for dinner tonight? Or are you going to watch the footy? Because they're not they're not the, the questions. That can be in the rapport building part. But the questions that you want to ask is you really want to focus on asking the right questions on how your product or service is going to meet that client's needs. Um, and then you simply just want to link the value of your product or service to that client's need. And then you'll close the sale. So if you ask great questions and you find the need, the client is almost asking you for your product or service. You barely even have to sell it to them. Does that make sense? Who thinks that's a really powerful process? Um, who has ever been sold to, and you've probably been through this experience when you've been through the, if you're a QBC client, where you've had to tell them why you deserve to work with them. Does that make sense? You've probably had to, to almost beg to be able to become a client of them. And that's because they're taking you through that five-step sales process. And we really want to establish the client's need because if we if they don't feel like they need us, we're less likely to get the sale. Does that make sense? Yeah, very cool. All right. So in order to, to get better client results, we really need to become better leaders. And I say this, and this is where NLP really comes into play, is NLP gives us not only skills for our, ourselves, but skills for our clients. So we teach you tools, techniques, strategies, communication, really effective communication and language patterns. We teach you how to build exceptional rapport with your clients. We teach you sensory acuity. Now, that's a really powerful tool to utilize. Sensory acuity is when you can actually identify where your client is at. Does that make sense? So if your client is struggling, there's no point trying to put more pressure on them if they're struggling. Does that make sense? And this is uh, more so for you guys who are coaches. So your sensory acuity, your ability to know where your client is at and what they are struggling with in, at the time, it means you're not just trying to ram a strategy down their throat. You actually really are identifying where they're at and how you can help them in the right now. And that's going to give you the long-term relationship with that client. So we te teach you how to build those relationships and it, it really comes from a holistic place where it's all areas. So we teach you like hundreds of different tools and techniques through NLP, and you're utilizing them all unconsciously at any given moment of time. And so the more skills you have in your toolkit as a coach, the better your results you're going to get with your client. And um, the state that you are in and the state that you can put your clients in is super crucial. Um, so we know that a lot of people are driven by emotions unconsciously, and hence the relationship that I've had with the quantum team, which has been eight years long now, which is beautiful. And the reason why this relationship has lasted such a long time is because of the emotional experience that it has been at the unconscious level, if that makes sense. And I had this conversation with Jason the other day, is when I was early days and I became a client, um, when I was the client, Jason was such a great coach and understood all of these modalities and he knew how to like help me operate from my unconscious. So he was coaching me at the unconscious level. And I'll tell you why this is so important because all learning, all behavior and all change happens at the unconscious level. Yep. So when you can, when you can work with your clients unconsciously, uh, you're going to have so much more leverage with them. Uh, we also teach you self-mastery techniques. We teach you how to utilize anchors. Imagine if you could anchor your state um, 
you know, before you do a sales process or anchor your state before you walk into a coaching session with a client. Or imagine you could use anchors for those of you who are life coaches, you probably deal with some heavy emotions with your clients. And so imagine if you can release that and put yourself into, into a peak state again, right? <laughs> it's amazing. And I can see you, Lisa, agreeing there as well. Um, affirmation, we teach you about posture, how to create posture and leverage. And so posture is how do you remain the authority when you're working with your clients and um, we we've heard this terminology being thrown around in the in the I guess you could say the the marketing space where the customer is always right imagine if you can create leverage and posture where you always maintain the authority as the coach and that's a very important technique to to master if you are a coach um, we teach you about, you know, creating cylinders, peripheral awareness is how do you be in the trainer state at all times? How do you remain in that authority state all the time? Um, we teach you about how to, not only for yourself, but also for your clients, how do you have a strong belief system? How do you actually have a strong belief system? How do you feel limitless in what you're doing? How do you tap into your all of your resources and having all the tools that you need? And by the way, you do. You all have everything you need within you. It's just how do you access that? Um, how do you operate from a place of excellence? And how do you unlock those things in your clients? And we we were throwing this around the other day in our coaching session. It was a gold nugget that came out right at the very end of our group coaches meeting. And it was about belief. And I want to talk about, for those of you who, who here has heard the term per, uh, perception is projection. So for those of you who are working with clients, your belief in your client is what really matters because I can tell you now your clients probably don't believe in themselves. <laughs> so your, your belief in your client is what's really going to count because if you don't believe your client can get there, then you're going to project that onto your client. So you as their coach has to have the belief system, the rock solid belief system. And that's one thing that also kept me on this journey with the quantum community. When Jason was my coach all those years ago, he believed in me when I didn't even believe in myself. Imagine that, <laughs> right? So I was, you know, and, and probably I can imagine a lot of you are going to work with clients and they are going to hit their pain points. They're going to hit their challenges. They're going to hit up against their limiting beliefs. And if you have the belief system in them and you can help them change their belief system, imagine how powerful that will be. That's what we teach you how to do in NLP. So we teach you how to not only solidify your belief but also the belief for your clients as well and um, we also teach you how to gain more clarity who here has monkey mind a bit too often sometimes <laughs> yep so if you want uh, a bit more clarity and a bit more control over your own mindset and self-awareness uh, that's one thing that we definitely teach you and imagine being able to operate from your genius zone even more so one thing that we teach you, and I'll tell you the importance of this, when you are, when you understand your unique strengths and weaknesses that are based around your particular personality, your particular meta programs, when you understand that, and we are also uniquely individual, and that's what makes it the, the world such a great place that we live in, is because everybody is so uniquely individual, we all have a genius zone. Each and every single one of us has a very unique genius zone and a very a unique set of meta programs. When we operate from our genius zone, we create more momentum with less energy. Imagine tapping into that. How cool is that, right? So when you can tap into your genius zone, and that's what we teach you how to do is by understanding your meta programs and your personality type, when you can tap into that and spend more time in your genius zone, you will create so much more momentum with way less energy. And we teach you how to share that with your clients as well. The other thing is confidence. So it takes confidence, right, to, to keep going, to keep being a leader. Um, it also takes confidence in your clients. So if you can, as a coach, have the confidence to be flexible, adapt, change, be open to new learnings, build on your strength, create culture in your communities um, and step into your responsibilities um, and take complete ownership. And this is one thing, it takes confidence to be complete, you know, to be at, you know, completely at cause. So take extreme ownership, accountability, responsibility for everything that's going on without feeling like a failure. And one thing we say in NLP is there's no such thing as failure, only feedback, right? So whenever we we get something wrong or, or we fail at something, it's simply just some feedback. We get to take responsibility of that, make the adjustment and we move forward. Um, and also we have, we, we capitalize on our confidence because when we start learning 
NLP and we start getting rid of all of the, the limitations and the negative emotions and all the stuff that we, all the non-effective beliefs that we have about ourselves, we actually step into our true purpose. We start to identify our talents and our skills. Um, and we also have, we are able to have conversational mastery and have that confidence who here, by the way, um, public speaking is one of the, the most feared things on our planet, right? Public speaking. But the more confident you are in your conversational abilities, you will be able to, you know, that's where your clients are going to trust you. Because if you show up with a place of confidence, your clients are just going to go, wow, I want what you've got, right? And so when you have the confidence for those conversations, the mastery, the taking extreme ownership, accountability, responsibility, you can't put a price tag on that. And that's how you will build trust with your audience. They want to see you lead by example. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's how you create that, that influence with your clients, by having the confidence, by having the belief, by being in the right state, and by having the actual skills and tools in your in your toolkit to actually help them. Um, who knows these two beautiful people on this slide, by the way? Oprah Winfrey and Barack Obama, both of these people are highly trained in NLP, by the way, and you've probably noticed when they they deliver speeches, who has noticed Barack Obama gives a very different speech to some of the other presidents that have been in the office, right? And that's because of his conversational uh, mastery skills. And that's because he's highly trained in this stuff as well. So another thing that NLP can really help is to help you build a stronger team. So for those of you who are working with VAs or have team, when you can recognize your team's actual talents, then you can really capitalize on helping them work more in their genius zone and deliver better results. Does that make sense? So we've all got a strategy that we're trying to use, but how good is it if you can use your strategy and capitalize on their particular genius zones? So there's different types of personality profiles. If you've never done one, I highly recommend it. Um, you can download it on um, 16personalities.com and then you can find out what your personality type is and then you can actually understand what role that person would be great in. And so some of our people who've learned NLP have gone into corporate, into the corporate space, and they work specifically with corporate companies. And they literally do these, this analysis of each of the persons in the team. And sometimes you've got great talent in the team, but they're just in the wrong role. So imagine if you've got somebody who is highly uh, a high a high level extrovert loves conversations and you've got them in a quality control role they're probably better at the reception area where they're interacting with the customers than doing the quality control and trying to have attention to detail on certain things because they're going to get distracted somebody's going to walk in the room and they want to have a great conversation so it's identifying the person's personality types and how you can utilize that team member effectively um, so here's just a couple of examples. You know, we've got an ENTJ. They are great as a product manager because their strengths is they've got structure, guidelines, their values orientated, they're competent, they're ambitious, they're strategic, they're a problem solver, and they are natural in a leadership role. You've got somebody um, like the, the software engineer who's the ISTJ personality type, and that person's strengths is they're structured, they're thorough, they're practical, they're steady, they've got attention to detail, and they're very grounded. So that sort of person is going to be great in a, you know, a role where they can actually utilize those skill sets. Does that make sense? This is why we've got a, a population of people who hate what they do for a living and they go to these nine to five jobs and they're unhappy, a lot of it comes down to they are just the, the job that they are in does not allow them to express their genius zone. Does that make sense? So imagine like when you are choosing talent for your team, um, I highly recommend that you you choose talent based on their skills rather than just like, oh, you know, she seems like a nice person. Let's bring her in and then let's give her this role and it may or may not be suitable for for that person. So when you can pick up on somebody's actual skill sets and their talents, uh, it will help you build a much stronger team. Imagine if you had uh, a team of 30 people, but every single person in that role was in their genius zone. Can you imagine the difference in that company and that organization rather than having another organization with 30 people and no one knows what they're doing? The difference in the momentum of each of those um, organizations is going to be completely different. And I'll tell you, somebody who's extremely um, talented in this field is uh, the guy from Virgin Airline. Uh, is it Richard Branson? 
Richard Branson is a team, a, a talent extraordinaire. He knows how to headhunt specific skill sets. And so that's what they look for. It's not, it's not based on the people, it's based on their skills. Yeah. So NLP basically is amazing, guys. It can really help you to upgrade, upskill and unleash the power of yourself and your team. Um, and we really teach world-class training tools and techniques. So what we teach you in our NLP, and I'll give you a bit of an overview of what we do. Um, basically, we run a three-in-one certification. It's internationally recognized training and certification. On completion of the training, you as an attendee would would actually get three internationally recognized certificates. So you would become a certified practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming, a certified practitioner of NLP coaching, and also a certified practitioner in uh, timeline therapy. Now, these are all super powerful techniques. You can use them all with yourself, um, as well as using them with your clients. You can use them going into organizations. You can use them to help you with your marketing, your influence. Uh, there's so many tools and techniques that you utilize and you can really utilize it to help you build rapport with your clients um, and, you know, help them solve problems. Who here would love to be a better problem solver, by the way? When you can solve problems, you are going to get results for your clients. When you can find out what your clients' values are, and I can't stress this, this enough, when I learned NLP, I, I already had hundreds of clients in my fitness business, right? But they were struggling. Like I had clients who were with me for three, four years. Yes, they were showing up every day. They were showing up every day, right? But the results were completely different after I started weaving in NLP techniques. They were actually like having exceptional results and not only just with their health and wellness, they were going home and saving their marriages. They were coming off substance abuses. They were, you know, really transforming their entire lives just because we were able to work with them unconsciously as well as in the physical. Does that make sense? So when you're working with the unconscious, and, and this is where I take my hat off to the, the um, amazing coach that Jason has been all those years ago, because he knew this stuff when I started working with him, I was very lucky to find the right coach at the right time. He helped me completely transform my business. So I was working in a, in a franchise fitness model. I was going broke. I was burnt out. I was broke and um, had hundreds of clients, but I was just not going anywhere. And I had a very fixed business model. And I started working with Jason. He was really driving me at the unconscious level, little to my knowledge, right? And this is where it, it's so great is we're working directly with the client's unconscious mind, but it's it's not, you know, it's outside the where, their awareness, but it's the, the tools and techniques that you will utilize that will really drive your clients at the at the unconscious level to make profound changes. And since then, like since all those years ago, I've had three different business models. I've saved my relationship and, you know, my bank account's flourishing now and I've got, you know, exceptional clients. I'm working more in my genius zone. So it's really profound and change and life changing this stuff. So what we offer is a, a six um, a six day live interactive training. So you're on live online, it's via Zoom. So anybody in the world can join us. Um, you get three internationally recognized certifications. Uh, it's real-time coaching practice. So we actually, when we have you in the live trainings, you're actually going into breakout rooms and actually utilizing the coaching with other students. You get to go through as the client and as the coach. Um, you get access hard copy training manuals, which we send out to you. Uh, we also give you additional audio study material so you can do self-paced learning for those of you who are AD. Uh, you can do some training in your own time before and after the training. You get access to the full recordings, all of the tools, the templates, the scripts, everything you need. Uh, so I use my training manuals like a Bible. They literally sit on my desk. I'm utilizing them in everything that I do all day, every day. Um, you also get lifetime access to our coaching community. And for you guys, we're also offering, for anyone that is interested, we're offering um, a couple of additional bonuses. So you'll get a three, one month of one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself personally after the training, just to help you really integrate the learnings. Uh, we also give you a free NLP ebook for coaches. And you'll get six months access to our inner circle coaching group where you get to liaise with coaches from all over the world who are utilizing these tools and techniques. And they've all got different business models, which is beautiful. We've got people who are chiropractors. We've got people in the health and fitness space. We've got people who have e-commerce e online stores. Um, so you can really, there's no limit to what you can do with this stuff. Uh, we've got people who work with conscious parenting. Um, so it's over $8,500 value. Um, our exclusive price for QBC clients is basically $3,995. Um, and it wouldn't be a proper 
free training if we didn't give you a special offer. So we've got a beautiful offer that we'd like to offer you guys. Um, so for today only, we want to drop $1,000 off that price for you guys, anyone who is interested. Um, the first option is it's either one upfront payment of $2,995 or you've, we've got payment plans available. So there's a $99 a week payment plan or a $199 payment plan. And I want to offer something super special, and I'm sure Jason won't mind if I say this. Um, we would like to, who he, who he thinks it's amazing value, by the way, uh, what we're offering. Um, these are world-class tools and techniques. I want to, we want to offer something special for you guys. So for the first three people, if you guys are really interested, uh, for the first three people, if you either um, send myself or Jason an inbox message, we will drop another thousand dollars off the price. Um, so we will give it to you for $19.95. Um, and you can put that on a payment plan or upfront. And we will also throw in a free ticket for a partner. So if you've got a business partner or a, a personal um, intimate partner, um, so if they're bed, blood or business partners, uh, so somebody that you're related to or a business partner or your, your life partner, uh, we will offer you a free seat. So that's for the first three people that um, message us. So for the first three people, um, you'll not only get an extra thousand dollars off, so it'd be $19.95, but we will also throw in a free seat as well. So uh, I will stop sharing my screen with you guys. Um, and who who here thinks that's huge amounts of value, by the way? Yep, I love that. And there's a lot of messages in the in the chat box. So I just want to um, see, did anybody have any questions at all about what I shared? Uh, yes, Lisa, I'd love to um, bring you off mute. Please share. Julie, I actually, it's more more than a question. I just want to actually encourage those that are watching this and are interested and speak they're interested to grab this because yes. I am an NLP and time month therapy practitioner and I've done it. And you won't get this anyway for less than $5,000 and you won't get the recordings, you won't get the templates, you won't get the extra support. Um, you won't get the extra partner in either. It is a fucking steal like mm -hmm. you'd be crazy not to take it now like seriously I am just so excited for anybody that takes this it does change your life it certainly has changed mine fantastic thank Amazing. you so much for sharing that Lisa no, and but I, I want to just back up what Lisa just shared there you know when I when I went through my training um, I paid five thousand dollars for my practitioner I paid seven thousand dollars for my master practitioner I paid tens of thousands of dollars for my trainers training and there wasn't even a phone call at the end of those certifications. They basically gave me certificates, said good luck, goodbye. And there was no, there was no aftercare support. There was no nothing. There was no access to recordings. There was no inner circles or community or anything like that. Um, it literally is a steal. Uh, for those of you who really are interested, um, I've, tra I've trained with Chad James, I've trained with Luke Hawkins, I've trained with some of the big names in the industry. I actually did four practitioners and two master practitioners before I decided that I wanted to actually teach and certify other people. Um, and since then, I've done multiple trainings with um, other people around the globe. And realistically, this stuff is super, super powerful. Um, so if you can't make the October training, so our next training is coming up in October. It's three weeks away, six full days. Uh, the training runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and if you can't make the October training, there will be another one in January. So if you're worried about the dates, um, simple, if you really want to jump on, on it and get access to the specials, um, don't hold up. Definitely message us and we can get you there. And depending on where you're at on the journey and how far you want to take it, we are qualified to take you through practitioner, master practitioner, trainer's training level. And we, we work with some exceptional people in the industry around the world as well. So we're not, you know, we're not about giving you a, a quick fix it's literally these are life-changing tools and techniques and we invite you to stay in the community and connect with coaches around the world because we want to make sure that you guys feel confident in using these tools and techniques with your clients we want to help you integrate them into your business we want to help you build your influence we want to help you operate from a state of confidence ecology and know what you're doing does that make sense um Aldwin, yes, I will meet you on Saturday on the Gold Coast. So for anyone who's coming up to the Gold Coast uh, for our limousine dinner champagne on the Gold Coast, um, we're doing that on Saturday as well. So 
Um, amazing team. If you want to be part of the training, um, that's super special offer. Um, if you guys want to bring a partner and get an extra thousand dollars off, um, simply either message, a uh, private message myself or Jason, and we will look forward to serving you. I hope you guys got some value out of that. Um, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to um, sing out and we will we will help you with anything that you need. Guys, have an amazing day. Thank you for your time. Thank you for those of you who showed up online. If you're watching the recording uh, on Facebook, um, simply message us if you have any questions. Have an amazing day, everyone. Thank you.